in strategizing today, the best practice is to go the blue strategy way and run away from a red strategy. What do I mean? In the past, when organizations have been trying to create strategic parts, one thing they do is to create industrial norms, uh, scan the background using tools like Porter Five, so that you understand how your competitors behave and and what and identify things your competitors do, then benchmark with that to reach that level. Okay. This gives the organization only one chance. You cannot be better than the industrial norms, which are already there. And that brings a ceiling where now all the practices are benchmarked to what is currently happening in the organization. And then the challenge now is, when you put such a ceiling now, nobody will be creative enough to question that paradigm and go to a better working arrangement. So what do we see? We see highly competitive situations where people are similar. Eventually, they reach that similar industrial norm. And after that now, what we see? We just see now people reducing prices while increasing value to survive. And this is not the right way because profit margins will be dwindling. And then again, the customers now suffer because they don't get a variety of goods that solve all their needs. While their needs are changing, nobody goes outside the industrial norm to capture their changing needs. That is now where blue strategy comes in. Because the ocean now will be, will be bloody, will be red from the, from the competitive wars. And now any organization that is going to succeed is any organization that is going to render industrial norms useless and forget about your competitors. Then don't compare yourself with your competitors. Leave them alone. Let them do their thing. But do something that is totally different, but adding value to the, to the customer, and not necessarily with, with very high prices, but you are going to bring in uniqueness which the in industry does not have, then that now will render your competitors in the industry useless because you are doing something different. And doing something different consistently will mean don't benchmark with them, forget about them. Then you are going to swim in your ocean now where you are the only one with a bigger market. Best example I can give is Henry Ford with the Toyota, uh, and, sorry, Henry Ford with the Ford. The first time in the car industry in the world, nobody thought of mass producing to come up with a standard vehicle. Vehicles, they were using jobbing method where you come up with a highly expensive vehicle and then come use highly skilled artisans who are expensive to use. And then the vehicle would come at the end, a very expensive vehicle, which is delicate. And then again, it was not, it was not designed for everyday use, and it was not designed for every person. Only a few rich people would, would afford these vehicles. And these vehicles would only be used on maybe a Sunday afternoon for a, for a short ride. And they were very delicate. They could be used on normal roads. And they were very expensive. So look at what Ford did, a typical blue strategy. Forget about what, the, what every other person is doing. Come up with a standard, stout, well-done vehicle that can manage rough roads and is well covered, that can, can move in mud and can move in rainy situations and can be used by everybody. So what did he do? Come up with mass production where people come specialized to do specific things, but, but in, a, in, a, in, a, in a mass production chain where, where now Reduce that reduced the cost of making a vehicle to affordable rate. And by then, people were using horse carriages. He made sure that the first uh, Toyota, uh, the first, uh, sorry, the first Ford T was not a lot more costlier than using the horse carriage. So people could find it's still solving the problem. If you could afford a horse carriage, you could still afford a Ford. And then to reduce cost, uh, Standardized parts, standardized, um, uh, standardized uh, made exchange is standardized parts made exchange easy. And again, all of them were black. So it reduced costs, but solved the customer, customer's problem. So the most thing is create utility to the customer. Understand what they want. Not necessarily what the industry is doing. So in most cases, what they want is not necessarily what the industry is doing. So once the industry has benchmarked themselves to irrelevance, forget about that. Leave them 
to compete to irrelevance to, to irrelevant situation and move to, on to what is relevant within manageable cost. And that is why every organization now should be allowed to create knowledge to, to, so that they can render the industry, not just a farm, farms they're competing with, the whole industry relevant. And for them to, to render the whole industry relevant, they have to be knowledge creators and create tomorrow with value addition experience.